Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's Captain Cook and Horror here, back with another video. Um, today's video is obviously going to be about this awesome chainsaw right in front of me. Um, if you guys seen my um, earlier videos, this saw was originally a 306 SA saw that I converted to a 245A. Only you need is just a, the 245A handle, um, the taller handle obviously, and the tanks, which these are hard to come by, but happy I got it. Um, I mean, it's just this saw is just so cool, really awesome. It's it's well known for being in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, as you can obviously see by that black tape on the clutch cover. Um, it's it's well known. Um, now, for this saw, I didn't buy it off eBay because, um, well, eBay, the people that usually sell them, they're they're expensive um a 306 okay i gotta say the 306a or sa model whichever one you have is not a 245a this is a converted 245a it's still a 59 cc chainsaw the 245a is a 74 cc chainsaw so it's a 15 cc difference but i mean i could get away with saying oh it's a 245a but i'm not i'm gonna say it's a converted 245a just because i'm gonna be honest um which there's a whole debate on which chainsaw was used in texas chainsaw massacre um a lot of people say it's a 245a a lot of people say it's a 306a converted which i heard it was the i heard someone believed it was a 306a um i heard it because um they said it was a uh, converted because um they wanted to use different saw parts so poland if they got sued by them they couldn't narrow down the saw model but i mean i guess you'll do what you want with that and then i also heard there was like a podcast or something and one of the or not a podcast like an interview and then one of the original um directors or whatever was i can't remember his name but i mean i don't know how true this is this is just what i heard i heard that He's like, oh, I thought we settled it. I thought we said it was a 245A. Or not a 245A. It was a 306A converted to a 245A. But when I was told that, I was like, oh, whatever. I was like, but also we don't even know what happened to the original saw. I mean, one of my good friends on here, he said, um, he said they borrowed it from a logger. And then they gave it back to him after that. And then I heard that he threw it away. So... The saw is probably either in some private collector's hands right now, or it's completely destroyed, and it's just a, a hunk of junk, basically. But anyway, that's that's what I heard. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know, so it's kind of whatever, I guess. But um, nice vintage roller tip bar on it. I do want to put another one on this just because... Um, only because this thing is rare to come by, and I don't want to come destroy this bar... I mean, it looks nice with it on it, but I want to get, probably put like a, I don't, I don't know the max amount length of, I think it's like 20, probably 24. I think anything else is pushing it, but I think I want to get a different bar just because these are, these are hard to come by. So yeah, um, I want this to kind of be a little short video, um, you know, manual oiling. Um, I did thought that was actually gas, but we had a little bit of fog and rain this morning. So I was like, oh wait, that's that's not good at all, but it's it's water, so yeah. Um I mean the the throttle lock, the thing that's kinda it's a dead giveaway. I mean but it doesn't really pay attention is this. The two forty five A models you do throttle, push this forward, and that is what would lock it. But this one you just press down because that little notch right here it gets to the back of it. So see if I can yeah, just locks it right in place. And then to do it, you would just... I mean, you don't have to do it. You can just hit the throttle and it... But it would hit right up. But well, I want to be easy on the saw. It's a 52-year-old saw. So, But for 52 years old, it's it's in really nice condition. Um, yeah, if you guys are ever just going to you know convert one of these, go on a polling chainsaw group on Facebook. Join it. Ask people what you need. It's so much... You save so much money. That's my advice to you. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the saw um i will be doing a video it does it does start i just have to tune it right but i want to do a video of me starting it and whatnot but i just want to be a 
short little video talking about it, showing you guys it. But um, once again, thank you guys for stopping in and have a great day.